Welcome to Christ Revival Evangelistic Ministries, also known as Sanctuary Praise Church. Here is a message that will establish the truth of God in your life by Evangelist Victor Ajishefe. Salvation from sin is one thing that happens on earth that heaven is rejoicing. The Bible says heaven rejoices when a sinner repents. When a sinner repents. There is so much joy in heaven. The only business that heaven has is to see a soul delivered. Delivered from from Satan's kingdom to see a soul pulled out of hell and become a heavenly soul or a soul that is heavenly bound. That's what gives heaven joy. I want you to understand this well. The joy of heaven is the salvation of souls. That's the only thing that gives heaven joy. That's the greatest miracle. That is one thing that Satan cannot copy. Satan can copy the miracle of cripple walk, blind see, dumb speak, sick is healed. He can do all that. Satan is the one who puts sickness on people. If he knows that he will have your soul by removing the sickness, he will remove the sickness and you will think it is God that is doing it. That is why people are preaching miracles without preaching repentance. Run away from them. This is a very sensitive age. This is the generation that we see the end of this world. We are the rapture generation. The trumpet will blow any time from now. All of these magicians behind pulpits claiming that they are prophesying, they are doing miracles. And they don't preach repentance from sin. Run away from them. Run away from them. Most the first thing, the most important thing is the kingdom. Is the kingdom. No matter what happens to family here, whether it is sweet or bitter, it has an end. Yes. There is only one thing that doesn't have an end. It is the salvation of your soul. Alright? Can get a miracle. Financial miracle. When rapture takes place, you are not going to have dollar in your pocket. Or in case you die before rapture, nobody is going to bury you with dollar. Those things are for this world and they perish with this world. So they are not the most important thing. God can give you a house. The miracle of a house is not the greatest miracle. Why? When rapture takes place, you will leave the mansion behind. And if Nadai meets you, nobody is going to bury you with your house. So those things belong to the world and they perish with the world. That is why don't seek them at the expense of your soul. That's why Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul? Because everything about the whole world that you gain, if you don't leave it, it will leave you. You see? Remember the story of the rich man and Lazarus. So the greatest miracle in your life is not about earthly things. The greatest miracle in your life is the salvation of your soul. When Jesus came, he preached. 
The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. When John the Baptist was preaching, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. The same thing the apostles preach. But Satan have sent out a lot of wicked ministers, deceivers, gospel merchants. You'll be merchandising the gospel, selling miracles. You have people who are called men of God, selling apple on the altar, selling their meat, selling holy water, selling holy oil, just to fool people and to manipulate people. Run away from them. This is the end time. Run for your soul. Or else, you may join people who will be singing a song, Had I Known, when the rapture will take place and you will be left behind to face the Antichrist and the tribulation. You have been warned. This is the end time. Love the truth. Jesus already told us that the way that leads to heaven, the gate is narrow and the road is hard. Only people made up their mind. He said, you must strive to enter. Strive to enter. Because many people will try to enter. They will not be able. Don't miss heaven. That's my appeal to you. Because of earthly things that are passing away. That will not matter. Make up your mind. That you will not be one of those who will face tribulation. It's coming very soon. We live in the end times. A lot of people are sincere. They go to church. They are, they, they are sincere. And they think that what they are telling them is, is coming from God. And yet they are packaging them for hellfire. Deceiving souls. Sincere souls. So don't run away from the truth. Stay where the truth is being preached. It's not going to switch your ears. No. Real truth is bitter. But when you swallow it and you endure it, it will kill you. When you stay with the truth, make up your mind that you're going to serve Jesus faithfully so that you won't end in hell. Hell is not a joke. There are two destinations for every human being. You either end in hell fire or you go to heaven. Praise God. This is the message. Any church that is not preaching this to you is a fake church. Yes. Fake church. That will just merchandise you and then when you die, imagine you now end in hellfire only for you to know that you have been deceived and it will be too late for you. There is no repentance in hell. Matthew chapter 24. Quickly. Matthew chapter 24. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Yes. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. See ye not all these things? I tell you this, yes. Verily I say unto you, uh -huh. There shall not be left here one stone upon another. Not a single stone. Not a single stone here will be left on top of one another. Go on. Verse 2. There shall not be left here one stone upon another uh -huh. that shall not be thrown down. Exactly. Every one of them will be thrown down. The glory of this world, the skyscrapers, the glass house. That is the end of this world. Don't allow this world to take heaven from you. That's the end of everything there. Not a single stone will start above one another. This is the truth. Don't perish with the world. The glory of the world is passing away. Stop admiring the world. You can use things of the world as a tool, but don't let them possess you. Don't let them possess you. Don't love the world so much that you have to sell your body to get anything in this world. Be it money or, or car or house. When God provides this for you, you will enjoy it and use it. But don't ever go into sin. Don't break the law of God. Don't make yourself a child of hellfire. 
because of material things. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, yes. the disciples came unto him privately, uh -huh. saying, Say. Tell us, when shall these things They be? were surprised. When the Lord said, you see all of this mighty building that you are seeing, not a single stone will stand upon one another. The disciples came to him and said, Master, tell us when these things, the signs that we, that we will see, when these things will happen. Go on. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What is going to be the sign of your second coming? Master, tell us the sign of your second coming. This is what every true Christian should watch out for. Yes, this is what should be the signs. What is it that shall be the signs of your second coming? Go on, pastor. And of the end of the world. When the world will come to an end. That is telling you this world is coming to an end. Say to yourself this morning, this world. Is coming to an end. This world is coming to an end. That's right. It's coming to an end. Stop running after the glory of the world. Oh, yes. Don't let the spirit of the world be inside you because there is an end. Say the coming and the end of the age. The end of this age. Go on, Pastor. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Yes. Take heed that no man deceive you. I don't have any other message that to tell you to watch out. And do not let anyone fool you. Say, so watch out. Look out for them. Their preaching is not about the end times. They don't remind you of these things. Their target every Sunday morning is your pocket. It is not how many souls will be saved. It is how much offering and tithe that has come in. All of those churches are everywhere. They are everywhere. If the pastor will do anything to get money, then why would you somebody in the congregation kill? Why will you not take another man's husband? Because you see, she say get money. So if you slash him, for should slash another man's husband. Why will you not go and do prostitution for money? If the pastor is saying that, Jesus said, wash out. Wash out for false prophets, fake preachers. And don't let anyone fool you. Go on. He said, wash out. Be careful. Don't let anyone fool you. Go on. For many shall come in my name. Uh -huh. I don't talk and though. Yes. Saying. They say. I am Christ. Uh -huh. And shall deceive many. They'll fool many people. They'll fool many people. False prophets. False prophets. They'll be telling you that they are the ones that have answers to your problem. Yes. Giving you false hope. Everything they have to preach is about ugly things. They don't touch the coming of Christ. They don't talk about rapture. They don't warn you against sin. They make church people comfortable in sin. People that are living in sin will come to church comfortably. Jesus said, be careful. Be careful. He said, many will come and say that they are Christ and they will fool many. Go on. And ye shall hear of wars. You shall hear of wars. You are hearing of that. Yes. And rumors of wars. Yes. See that ye be not troubled. He said, these are the signs. Number one, false prophet. He said, be careful. He said, wash out. There will be many at this end time. Go on, pastor. And ye shall hear of wars. Yes. And rumors of wars. Uh huh. See that ye be not troubled. Uh huh. For all these things must come to pass. These the, are the signs that will come to pass. Go on, Pastor. But the end is not yet. Uh huh. For nations shall rise against nations. Nations will be rising against nations. Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. Uh huh. And there shall be famines. Uh, famines, and, yes. And pestilence. And earthquakes everywhere. And earthquakes. Yes. In diverse places. Uh huh. All these are the beginning of sorrow. It is the beginning of sorrow. And that is what the world is going through now. Let me tell you this. This world in which we are will never get better. If there was bad news yesterday, expect worse news today. And expect worse, worse news tomorrow. This world in which we live in will never get better. This is the best. What you see this morning is the best that, that this world can ever be. 
it will only get worse. It will get harder. Economies will be crashing. There will be war. There will be earthquake. There will be pestilence. There will be hurricanes. There will be tsunami. It will not stop. All right? The ice is melting. The, the sea is rising. Why the sun is becoming hotter? Nothing can stop that. No country can stop it. No. This is the beginning of sorrows. The words of Jesus coming to pass. We live in the midst of prophecy. Prophetic fulfillment. That's why you must be careful. Watch out for the kind of church you go. Any church that does not create a lot, that is not sounding warning about these things, don't go there. It's a temple of Antichrist. Because what will happen is that when rapture takes place, all of you will be left behind to face the Antichrist and face tribulation. When that time comes, you won't be able to go to the saloon. You won't be able to go fair you tell man. All of this, a lot of these worldly things that, these, these things that matters to you, they're against you. This is the beginning of sorrow. Go on, pastor. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted uh -huh. and shall kill you. Uh -huh. And ye shall be hated uh -huh. of all nations yes. for my name's sake. Uh -huh. And then shall many be offended. Many will be offended, yes. And shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. Go on. And many false prophets shall rise. Uh -huh. And shall deceive many. Uh -huh. And because of iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Iniquity shall abound. In this age where man is turning to woman. Woman is turning to man. What is happening around the world now is worse than what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. It's, what, what happened in Solomon and Gomorrah is a child play to what is happening now. People are so greedy. So much corruption. So much stealing. So much greed. In this world. People stealing what they don't need. Say, such will be the spread of evil that many people's love will grow cold. Go on. But he that shall endure unto the end. Those who will endure. Those that shall endure to the end. What's going to happen to them? The same shall be saved. They will be saved. Those who will endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Those that will endure sound doctrine. That you cannot be a born again Christian. And you are living in immorality. Sound doctrine. Jesus came to save us out of sin. If you are still living in sin, then the anger of God is still hanging on you. Jesus went to the cross to deliver us from sin. You cannot be immoral and be a child of God at the same time. When you are born again, you are, you are a new creation. That's what the Bible says. All things are passed away and all things have become new. If your life does not change, you are still a candidate of hell. You are a firewood for hellfire. To be a Christian is to repent from sin and become a new creation. You have overcome sin. Sin does not, does not dominate. The Bible says sin shall not have dominion over you. In other words, sin does not rule your life. But if sin is still ruling your life, and you go, you you go to a church that makes you comfortable and make it look as if it's normal. They have sold your soul. Because rapture will take place any moment from now and you will not go. No sinner will go to rapture. Anybody that is expecting rapture cleanses himself and herself. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world uh -huh. for a witness unto all nations. As a witness. I'm witnessing to you right now. I am bearing witness to the Father Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Be prepared. Come
Thanks for listening and I believe you've been transformed remarkably. For more information, you can call on these numbers 078-593-977 or 078-595-977 or visit us at the Sanctuary Place Church, Solid Guide of King Hammond Road, Brookfields, Freetown, Julio. Thank you and God bless you.